Hey guys, it's been a bit, but thought I'd do a quick update on the shop. A lot has changed since the last video. The structure is basically finished. Up here, I've put um, some double plastic to try and retain the heat between the uh, ceiling joists. I've been making and selling things online, so I needed a photo box, which I made from some uh, dollar store um, poster board and some scrap wood lying around. It's a mess in here right now. You know, a friend of mine told me a long time ago that if you're going to build a shop, make it twice as big as you plan on because you're going to need it. Well, I think I mentioned that in another video, and I should have done that because I need it. So, you saw the other video, or possibly not, but on the rigid uh, joiner. So I did finally get the wheels on that so I can move it around easily now. And if you did see that video, I wasn't sure what this was, but it is an angle gauge for setting up the, the table, the infeed, the outfeed, the, uh, the fence, and so forth. Yeah, the little porter cable grinder actually doesn't work too bad as long as you don't press on it too hard. Just picked this up yesterday, the porter cable bandsaw. I've been looking for one of these for a while. And while, while. And I was at Lowe's yesterday. And I had one of these in Arizona. And this was on clearance regularly uh, 569 I got it for 455 plus my military discount it worked out pretty good so the only thing I really need to to get now is I need to replace this crappy table saw I really want a nice saw but everything that I've been looking at is too big I can't fit it under this workbench so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do that's still up in the air have to keep looking the um, the barrel drum wood burner is it's kinda chilly out today it's um it's like 19 degrees it was minus 10 this morning it's ridiculous I'm so sick of negative temperatures but I've been running it so hot that all of my 1200 degree paint is cooked off of it. So I'm done trying to paint it. I did put some heat shields, some uh, tin on the back wall. My fan to blow the heat around. I have it off right now so it doesn't interfere with the video. But yeah, it's uh, it's been working well actually. Um, this I use to keep my coffee warm when I have it in my ceramic mug set it on top of that keeps it nice and toasty the DeWalt planer on top of my miter station is not gonna stay here I'm gonna make a stand for that put it on some wheels and that's going to wind up living underneath here this is kind of a temporary setup but uh, yeah the DeWalt compound miter saw the miter station's working out well. That Ryobi um, benchtop drill press that I bought. Not super impressed with it. Although the drill, the uh, the chuck, it does spin true. So I can't complain too, too much. But I still don't like the nylon pulleys. The Shapoko router. I haven't used this as much as I should be using it little computer that I bought on Amazon that the USBs didn't work so I had to uh, yeah caveman that so I had the uh, USB for uh, the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi extender and it runs the router it came with a monitor actually I think it was 200 and 229 239 something like that but um, yeah, after I played with it for a while, it uh, it it works okay. 
the, and like I said, everything's a mess in here. The Bosch router table with a DeWalt router. I just picked these up. They were on sale at Lowe's for $99, I think. Haven't used any of them yet, so I can't say whether they were worth it or not. Of course, a radio, some chemicals, little torches, some welding rods, the baby vise, the assembly workbench. This is a um, cutting board that I'm in the process of assembling. This is a sewage feeder that I made. Unscrew that knob there, that walnut knob, open the side, slip a suet block in there, close it, hang it on a tree or on a cable, whatever you'd like. And uh, yeah, it keeps the raccoons from taking the whole block and running off into the woods. My little Century uh, 110 stick welder. A couple of my dimming masks. My Husky toolbox that I've had for quite a few years that I still like. The, um, the anvil. Haven't used that nearly enough. The forge. Another little toolbox. Some woodworking clamps. A half baked shelf that I put up because you know I, I'm so limited on room. My whiteboard that I made out of a 12 by 24 tile. My rigid sander. This Olympia vise. It's actually a bumper mount vise that I picked up at uh, Home Depot. Now I'm sorry, tractor supply. And it actually works pretty good. It's not heavy duty. You'd probably kill it if you were trying to do, you know, serious stuff on it. But for what I do, it's going to work. And I blew a hole through here, 5 16s, tapped it, put a bolt in here so that I could keep the, uh, the am anvil tight. It, it does slide. You can take it right off the mount. So if it's ever in my way, I just need to unloosen this bolt, slide it out of the way, and I'm good to go. It's 40 degrees in here almost. So it's, I haven't been in here that long. I don't have a roaring fire going. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick update on the shop. And tomorrow I have an interview. still blows me away. I didn't expect on having to get a job, but health benefits are pretty important these days. But yeah, tomorrow I have an interview, and if that goes well, I'll update. Um, some of my old license plates. I just recently got my vehicles registered in New York. So they need two license plates, front and back. So that takes away my happy um, cowboy cactus patriotic plate in the front yeah I started making these as well these um, distressed I guess you call them how do you pronounce it fa f-a-u-x barn beams they're actually made out of three pieces of uh, pine one by six pine that I work over and stain, glue and screw, put a uh, French cleat on the back to hang them up. So it looks like a barn beam when you're all said and done. Anyway guys, I don't want to bore you any longer. It is uh, Monday the 31st, January, tomorrow's February 1st, a couple more days and we're in the middle of winter. So it's all downhill from there. Guys, enjoy your day, have a great week, and we will talk soon. Take care now.